Hello, and welcome to the AgriDep video presentation on the use of GAMS IDE. We assume you have already completed the first lesson in the GAMS training prior to this module and that you have followed all the steps to install GAMS. Initially, when you install GAMS IDE for the first time, a window opens alerting you that no project was found. Press OK. We will now create a project where we will save all the model files created in the course of the lessons. Select from the menu, File, Project, New Project. In this case, I created a directory, GAMS Training, where I will save all of the documents related to this training. I must give a name to the new project, which I will call Lesson 1. Note that the project complete file name shown in the title bar of the window is now GAMS Training slash Lesson 1. Next, we will open a file. To open a file, we can either use the menu option or use shortcut keys. For example, to open a file, you can either select File, Open, or use the shortcut key Control-O. When we press Open, the screen is blank since there are no files saved yet and the directory is empty. Note that the default suffix for the files is .gms, which identifies programs that can be executed by GAMS. If you open the drop-down window of the files type, it lists all the types of files that can be opened. If you want to open a file other than .gms, you must navigate to the correct suffix. Press Cancel since we do not have any files to open. We will open an existing file from the model library which was installed when the software was initially installed. We return to the menu and select File, Model Library, Open GAMS Model Library, which contains the set of GAMS models that have been installed when GAMS was installed in the initial package. Select the first model by double-clicking. Now let's enlarge the window so we can see all of the code. You will see at the top of the current window, the title bar shows that the selected model, able.gms, was automatically saved in the same directory as the project. The yellow buttons below the menu are shortcuts to various functions which can also be selected from the menu. We can open, save, and use the last three buttons to search. This option helps locate matching parentheses. This button is the print option, and the red arrow button the Run option to execute the program. Note the position of the cursor and its corresponding location on the bottom left corner of the current window, currently 1 colon 1, first line, first column. If I move the cursor to the M, for example, the location is updated to the new position, line 16, column 9. You may start writing GAMS code anywhere in the line except for a statement starting with a dollar sign. We will discuss this further in following lessons. Next, let's run the model either by clicking on the red arrow button or by pressing F9. If this is your first time using GAMS, the window opens to select the solver. By pressing yes, you open a matrix linking solvers with the types of program that they are best suited for. 
For now, we will select the default. Click OK. A second window opens automatically during the model execution. This is the process window and can be short or long depending on the program. Also note that a second file with the same name but with the suffix .lst has been created. This is the exit file. If we go to File and select Open, and then select from the files of type All Files, we can see that the AMS has created several files. We have seen the .gms file, the log file which saves the process window, and the .lst file which is the exit file. The .lxi file is a temporary file, and the last two are project files. Press Cancel and return to the two files that are already opened. You can move from one file to the next by clicking on the corresponding tab. You can edit selected text in a GAMS program either by right-clicking and selecting an option or by using the shortcut keys. For example, we can select this text, select Edit, and then copy is an RTF so that we can copy text from the .gms file and paste it into a .txt or .rtf file. For further details, it is recommended to open Help in the main menu and consult the GAMS IDE Help Topics, which contains all the information on GAMS IDE. Please consult the guided tour. In the Help menu, there are two other documents that we find very useful. They are the GAMS User's Guide from which these lessons derive, as well as the Expanded GAMS Guide by McCarl, which is very easy to follow. It is strongly recommended that you consult these documents during the course of your modeling training. Thank you for listening to the AgriDep GAMS tour video. For further information on GAMS and modeling, please proceed to Lesson 2.